me. You guys are the worst. I leave you alone for five minutes and there's like 50 zombies and a tank. Is that a tank? What's up guys and welcome back to Paint the Town Red. Now as many of you guys know, over the past few episodes, we've been playing through the Roaming Dead which is a series of like 11 workshop levels that all combine to make this zombie-filled post-apocalyptic story. And for today's episode, we get to find out how it ends. Oh no! What a way to start the episode. So level eight is called Inmates. And when we last left off, we had raided a prison, which was full of zombies and not quite zombies. And we got rid of all of them, but we lost our katana-wielding friend from the first seven episodes whose name was apparently Sam. I had no idea he was the strong, silent type. But we've been busy, right? We're surviving. We've started farming. We're growing tomato bushes and oranges. Yeah, that's the two things that the virus did. It made it so the undead come to life and oranges don't grow on trees anymore. I'm sure nothing is gonna go wrong in this level, right? When would that ever happen? But just in case, I'm going to inspect, uh, Billy, Bobby, how's the barricade? Everything looking good over here? Oh, you got your baseball bat? <gasps> we have all the important things of the zombie apocalypse. I've been saying this since the very beginning. Best buds, baseball bats, build barricade. Everything is under control. Who are those guys? That's not good. Hey, what do these troublemakers want? Are they ours? Can I... No, I, I can't investigate. Maybe I could just hit one of them with Sam's katana from here. Uh, that... Nope. That's fine. Okay, I'm not mad. If anything, I'm happy because tables and barbells aren't going to keep the zombies out. It's a good thing you got the force going there. I'm not sure what Jedi you had to strip apart to do that, but that's fine. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. I can technically get in my car and leave right now. Which is strange. Huh. I wonder what's going on in the prison. Have we made this a home yet? Doesn't really look like it. The exact way it was when we left it. Well, the armory is still intact. We have a metric crap ton of weapons that nobody seems to be using, but I'm kind of disappointed by this. Right, I figured we would have cleaned the place up, made a place for us to sleep. Right, we're farming, but we don't have beds or anything. Oh, of course there are beds. Right, that makes a whole lot more sense that we would sleep in here with the beds rather than the guns. <laughs> okay, I'm jumping to conclusions, all right, I'm sorry. What's their problem? Right, because you're a friend and they're friends, but they aren't friends. Oh, maybe they belong to the gang of people outside. That's not a good idea. We really don't need prisoners right now. I know it's a prison, but still. So there's five of them. We have Billy and Bobby out front and me. That makes three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have at least eight people, so we outnumber them. That's a good sign. Nine and number nine is actually trying to load a weapon or chop it up into cutlets, I'm not entirely sure, but good job, you keep doing that. 10, he's arguing with the jugs. I'm starting to think that this is a ragtag group of hopelessness. We actually have a pretty decent sized group. Like if we can ever get those weapons unglued from the shelves, we might be able to survive. What are you guys doing here? Making a little privacy room? Oh, right. We need to repopulate somewhere, right? You can't just do it in front of everybody. What's with the enemy Blair witching in the corner? Stray. Oh, there's more of them. There's three more in there, so there's six of them now. But we have four, five more people. There's another one. There's a lot of random non-friendlies around. I get the feeling they're gonna stage some kind of coup. You're doing great in here, Handlebar Joe. You just... Keep on surviving in the free world. Here we go, the luxury quarters, right? I don't share a bunk with anybody. I'm the one in charge here, so this is where I sleep. Oh no, this is where we found all these guys at the very end of last episode, right? They were the ones in the prison before we arrived. 
a little strange that there's four of you and two double beds, but, uh, you know, whatever happens in prison stays in prison, I suppose. Oh, we got another friend up here. What are you doing in the attic? Oh, the war room. Currently planning our siege on some kind of city. Right, does that make sense? Maybe that'll be the next level. We'll head to some city and look around for supplies. Can't live here forever. I'm honestly amazed that I haven't come across a hole in the wall full of zombies or somebody that had been bitten or uh, a dude beating the crap out of people. Hey, hey, oh, oh, there's zombies, there's zombies. I knew it, I knew that the bad, bad, right? Okay, all hell just broke loose. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen eventually, right? I couldn't see your eyes because you were lying down facing away from me. That's, oh God, they're strong. They just blew up Joe's head. <laughs> That's not okay at all. I gotta save my friends. I gotta save as many of them as possible. I still, I can't tell if they're zombies or not. They're like kind of zombies. It's also really difficult not to hurt my friends. Okay, careful, careful. Yeah, no, no, I'm sorry. Oh, crap. Crap, I got the big guy, he was a real asset. Oh, no, 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 don't stop for us. Yeah, you got like three, four more reps to go. You just keep exercising. I'll deal with uh, the whole zombie horde breaking out. Why were we keeping them prisoner? This was the stupidest idea ever. We should have just kicked them out or killed them or why are you sleeping through this? Please tell me the guy arguing with the bottles is fine. Oh God, he had kids. Where is everybody? <laughs> are they all dead? I could have just gotten in my car and left. I could have left at any time. Oh, we got them all. Oh. So they didn't assault us from the front. They were inside already and they just broke free and killed most people, I guess. I don't see anybody else around. God, doors are freaking hard. Did they get to the armory? No. Weird. So I wouldn't necessarily say that things went well, but they could have gone worse, right? We didn't lose everybody, even though I'm probably just gonna leave, right? I think we're done here. Sam, I'll carry on your legacy and your katana as I cut people down. I'll leave a little tomato there for you. <laughs> That's how I commemorate the dead. I just put one little saucy tomato on their tombstone and we're moving on. What were those guys doing out there? Really, we're, we're gonna find out. There, there has to be some kind of explanation as to what's going on with these white-eyed zombie survivors. Really weird. So unsurprisingly, level nine is called the town, which is probably why I could get in my car and drive away at any point, because in the war room, we were planning this trip. You know, you gotta go get supplies. You can't live off of ground oranges and tomato bushes. You gotta go get a can of pop, a bag of chips. I can turn on music using the outside radio of my car, and I can apparently cheat using Sam's katana. But I don't, I don't really consider it cheating when there's that many zombies. <laughs> this was not worth a bag of chips. They didn't see me drive up so I think I'm gonna play this a little stealthy and look around first. What kind of weird liquor orgy room was this? <laughs> okay, uh, next door. Oh, this looks boarded up. Yeah, we might have friends in here, right, survivors? Hello, hello, hello there, Mr. Hey, 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 whoa, I'm not a zombie. What kind of zombie do you see running around with a katana? Okay, stop it, stop it, stop it. Um, are you okay? I'm, I'm really trying my best not to murder you here, but uh, it's 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 actually kind of difficult to murder you now that I think about. It. No, no, you can't you can't do that if you don't have a head. Stop tripping over. See, You're tripping on your own head. What is going on right now? <laughs> Please, I I just wanted to be friends. Have you seen how many zombies are out there? I hate how the people in this are never on each other's side, okay? This is my home now, okay? I'll, I'll clean things up, I'll, I'll go next door and get a mop, and then this beautiful little pirate home will be mine. I got a toilet, that's all you ever need in life, right? I need to remember to call the bank and change my address to 14 crapload of zombie street. Uh, maybe, oh, he was 
charming too. He had everything going for him. He was growing nunchucks and cubes and shovels and... Okay, well, that that's that. I'm definitely gonna be living here now. Um... You know what, if I had the choice between zombies or Never Never Land, I'll take, uh... I'll take a seizure? No, that that's not a door. There's a high school. And a gas station. Okay, um... We cool? I think we're cool. They don't have eyes. Oh, another friend! Can you please, like, get- bar your door? Get- no! Oh, you're not a friend. Yeah, you're one of the white eyes. Oh, hey, hey, whoa! How'd you see me? You don't have eyes! <laughs> I don't get it. Please tell me I didn't tip off too many of them. Ooh. Number 20 is for sale. Maybe I could boot- no, I already have a garden. You know, I think I'm happy with my house. I know I technically came looking for a mop, but I could really use a washing machine and a keg of beer, a dartboard, some fresh meat. Right, you gotta do whatever you gotta do to survive. Don't judge me. Uh, I'm gonna cross the street. Look both ways before you cross the street. Let's just get rid of you now. Yeah, I, uh, I don't want to leave anybody behind. 19, what do you have for me? Oh, well, oh, a gym right next door. And a membership just opened up. <laughs> you know what? This neighborhood has good resale value. I think I definitely like this. And a basketball court in the backyard. Very nice. Uh, oh, these are parachutes, right? This is probably like uh, a supply drop. There's a gun there with what? Like one, six bullets? Uh, no, no, not worth it. Not worth it. I can take down everybody with the katana. Let's just keep looking around. Not looking for any trouble, boys, okay? I'm just looking for a mop. Don't mind me. Um, oh, 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 okay. I was just gonna ask for a mop. Hey there, uh, neighborino. Can I borrow a mop and a cup of sugar? I'll, I'll get the sugar. Don't worry about it. They didn't have any sugar. Go figure. They just had SOS signs, and what does this say? Call CHOP. Oh! We might be able to call a helicopter. That would be so freaking cool. Okay, um, we're gonna check in here. Wait, why is this... What number is that? That looks like a pair of glasses. I'm the 60... Oh, it's probably... No, it's not 18. I don't get it. This is a weird home. This... Yep. This is a weird home. What am I looking at right now? My eyes, oh. Hey. Um, I don't, oh, I don't think I should be in here. You know what, I, I, nope, nope, nobody, nope, nope, nope. Be gone, Satan. Oh, it's a mirror room. That's what I'm looking at. I don't have a reflection in the mirrors, so it's really hard to tell that they're mirrors, but it's some kind of weird little fun house. He was hiding around the corner here. Um, how do I get out? Oh God, I am actually, no, this is, here we go. Thank you, blood. <laughs> yeah, you know what, resale value, probably not all that great on mirror houses. I'm sure some people are into that kind of thing. I'm gonna wait to call the helicopter. Get what, a police station, hospital, uh, high school, gas station. This is a big level. This is really impressive how much stuff he put into this. Um. You guys got any mops for sale? Any mops? What are you, deaf? Okay, that's fine. Great, I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for mops. We have a problem. I tried to shake the vending machine because I didn't bring any change and they all heard it somehow. Maybe not too much of a problem. I mean, I'm bleeding out my chest. Hey, zombie fluffles. What are you doing? Just your favorite thing, eating meat and pooping. <laughs> okay, well, uh, gonna give this a shake again? No, I don't know how they heard me. That was terrifying. <laughs> Where did they come from? Oh, I'm I'm really hurt now. Uh, can I go up here? Oh, there is a helicopter! There's, there's rescue! Rescue! Help, I gotta call the chopper. Okay, so that's what we need to do right now. We could get on the motorcycle and just drive away, but... You're, you're not going to be friendly, are you? You and your shake weight? Yeah, I were- No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, let's see you shake without any legs. Oh, yeah. I'm sure we'll see a whole lot of helpful stuff in the high school for surviving, right? 
Maybe some preteen angst. Is that still alive in here? One plus one equals gun. <gasps> well, oh, well, it rhymes. Don't let me interrupt your lecture, okay? I was just sitting in. Interesting. Does it equal loaded gun? Loaded gun. Wouldn't mind attracting some of them, but I definitely want to keep Sam's katana. It's nostalgic now. It has meaning to me. Uh, oh. Uh, what is that? The math upside down? Two divided by zero is zero? I just noticed all the crucifixes and blood and the guy pinned to the board. <laughs> Why does the math catch my eye first? What do you look- oh, okay. You guys are just doing some kind of weird little ritual here? Um, don't mind me. I'm, I'm just gonna interrupt it because that's creepy, right? And I don't want you guys coming out and interrupting my helicopter, so we could all just, uh, just die. No, no, no. Oh, you weren't pinned to the wall. You you were actually part of this. Well then, don't I look a fool? I really do try to be a considerate person, but I make janitors' lives a living hell. Like, do you have any idea how hard a high school janitor's job is? Do you know how hard it is to get Sharpie crucifixes off a wall? It's not easy. Oh man, I, I'm just having a bad day. Yeah, that, that's, that's some Typical high school locker, making a gun look like a basketball dick. I want my helicopter. I just want, ooh. That's probably the creepiest thing I've seen yet. Because it's either three guys peeing in the same urinal or three people Blair witching. And either way, I, I don't like it. Is he peeing into his butt? <laughs> Stop that. Oh yeah, you see? He was definitely peeing in his butt. What is with these zombies? Uh, math. Two divided by zero. Oh, this is the right side up version of the lecture across the hall. Strange. Okay, well, the high school was interesting, but uh, didn't really help me all that much. At least we survived. What are these guys doing? They're hanging out in the middle of the road and they're, I don't know. Oh, it's a zombie trap. That is really clever. They put meat in the middle, and all these guys are trying to reach it. Ow, 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 okay, yeah, listen, okay. I know I'm meat too, but rude, right? Yeah, they just kind of walk over here and get stuck because they, they don't have any, like, self-preservation. Cool. I could kind of go, <laughs> I could kind of go for some meat as I impale myself. Oh, they're beating up one of the white-eyed guys. Why? Okay, you know what? What if we, um, what if we smite? Right, I wouldn't mind trying that out. Something tells me that guy's not my friend, so he's gonna get smitten as well. It's been a while since I've done a proper smiting. That guy's just sitting over there minding his own business. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no, you guys shouldn't be able to... Mmm, that's not good. That, that's very not good. Why is smite so weak all of a sudden? Okay. There we go. Why are things still slow? I'm fine. Every, everything is fine, right? Everything is under control, except for the game. It, it's kind of crashing. If I was the last six zombies, I'd be hanging out in the police station. And by hanging out, I mean sitting down, getting chopped into pieces. Four? Anybody else around? No, that's probably where Fluffles came from to take his do Oh boy, yeah, big boys. Why are your arms so dark? This That's weird. Why are your hands so big? I feel like a zombie red riding hood. Like, oh, all the better to eat you with, my dear. Will you please just die? Maybe I could, uh, shockwave, just step. That did nothing. This guy is not taking damage. And I don't know if it's because the game is crashing or no, okay, you know what? Uh, it's getting slower. It's getting even slower. This is really weird. Is it because I'm bleeding out my eyes? I'm gonna call in the chopper. You know what? I think the helicopter could deal with one big boy. So please rescue, rescue, rescue. Where was it? It's right here. Somebody left it here for me. Thank you. Call. Eh. Helicopter? He helicopter. Helicopter. This is crap. 
I have never seen this in Paint the Town Red before. Not only is this guy a ghost, so a lot of the time I just can't hit him at all, but when I do, he doesn't take any damage and it's so freaking slow. Everything is in permanent slow motion and I don't know how to get out of here, so I'm just gonna hop in my car and go back to the prison, right? That has to be where we're going next. I'm going home. No, no, my friends, my settlement, my dirt oranges. We're under attack, and I don't know where Sam's katana is. Sam, could you maybe get up and help? Actually, don't get up. Don't, don't get up. Come to think of it. This is crap. This went awry. You guys were supposed to build a barricade. You didn't do a good enough job. I gotta protect my friends. God, they just melt. You guys are the worst. I leave you alone for five minutes, and there's like 50 zombies and a tank. Is that a tank? What is going on right now? Why do they have control over the zombies? Luckily for me, I found the one gun in the armory that not only has ammo, it has all the ammo. It has the entire prison's worth of ammo. Why are they on fire and getting shot in the head and getting back up? I'm not killing them, right? Every time I shoot them, that's not a kill. That, that was a kill. Okay, so we are getting some of them. I need to get the brain. That's right. I forgot that these zombies are like that. So they just bowled over our wall. Ow! Guys, really? Not, not now, okay? I know that you're technically with the tank guy, but they bowled over our wall, and they, I guess they just let the zombies in to fight us. Oh, it's just the worst. I'll deal with you guys in a minute, okay? I need to go check on my friends. Hopefully Fluffles is okay. I, I see a little bit of fire. Hi, uh, excuse me. You guys weren't friends, were you? Nope, don't think so. No? Is anybody alive? Are you guys, ooh, they, they don't look good. They do not look good. <gasps> oh no, this is just the worst. <laughs> it's, oh no, they got a block, there's nobody left. Everybody's dead, they got, oh, I gotta get my revenge now. We have to face off against a tank using a flintlock pistol, but I can do it. I can do it, I believe in me. I have the power of Sam's ghost on my side. Oh, he wants to fight me with a katana. There's my katana. I see, you wanna 1v1 me. Yeah, we're gonna do it man to man. I don't think so. <laughs> That's not how this is gonna work. You don't bring a tank to my house to kill my friends and expect a 1v1. You can get bullets in the teeth. Am I shooting BBs? Are these paintballs? Are they feathers? Am I tickling your face? This isn't good. Yeah, this is, nope. There it is. What? Okay, I don't care if that was a fair fight. He had it coming and so did his friend up there. There it is. He is dead, right? Whoa, whoa, I think the virus is getting him. Okay, now would be a good time to chop him up. Just to, there, there we go. See you get up from that. I don't suppose I could just drive away in this tank, right? Uh, there's nothing left for me here. Eh, I don't really want to sit in that. I mean, clearly there are people still alive, right? Because the level's not over, I think. I didn't see a countdown. I'm so confused. It was the same with the last level. Just some weird little clever way of making it so you don't really know. No, oh, it's over. We, we gotta get in our car and just get out of here. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And that's it, that, that's all for the Roaming Dead. We leave this season on a cliffhanger, but there will be more levels. I actually had the creator comment on one of my videos saying that level 11 will be coming sooner rather than later, and then I would imagine there will probably be more. When there are, I'll be sure to make another video because I'm totally invested in this. I've been having a lot of fun with them. I wanted to play them now because it's the Halloween season, you know, it's very fitting with the zombie apocalypse style game, but I'll definitely return whenever we can play more. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Yeah.